He spilled that shit all over the goddamn mic. He spilled that shit. He spilled that shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, shit, it's falling on the table. All over. It was in the cup. It was in the cup and he spilled it. Man, he spilled that shit. Fuck. I gotta clean this shit up. Maybe we should put please don't wear headphones while listening to this. Fuck that. Yeti. Who we got up in this bitch? New Wave. New Wave Nas. How you doing today, bro? Bro, I'm feeling good, bro. Say what's up to the cup. What's the deal? I ain't never said that before. Yo. <laughs> Alright, so this the youngest motherfucker that's ever been on this bitch. 17. Introduce yourself, bro. What you be doing? New Wave Nas. I'm an artist. I make music. Something crazy. I've been doing my thing. I'm just mm -hmm. blessed. You really feel blessed. Man, really. Where you start, bro? Man, literally started it all. Started my sophomore year, bro. Just decided to drop a song. I was just right. My, my stepdad Dave, he was just like, man. Sophomore, you was how how old was you? Man, I this feel, nigga was young as hell. I was fifteen when I dropped the first song, bro. Yeah. It's about twelve o'clock, bro. Dropped it, made a YouTube channel. Woke up with two point one thousand views. Two point one thousand. Yes, sir. Two point one thousand. <laughs> Nigga, what? Yes, sir. And then what happened? Man, after that, bro, I was I was staying consistent, and I just all that, all that you know coming from, you know, not having all that attention, you know, like just being a regular kid, you know, and then getting all this attention, you don't know what to do with it. So it really messed with my my mind mentally, and like it put me like it made me depressed, bro, because I, I like I lost a lot. I lost a lot of people. Mm -hmm. In general, just like it made me people feel turn like, on you when, once you get something. Definitely, and you know, like it was like I had this opportunity, and I just wanted to throw it away because I was so like I felt bad. I didn't feel myself, bro. Like literally, like I had literally, like, I had a high top. Literally had a high top, and I cut it off because I didn't even like how I looked at, bro. I was just like so depressed at the point. I'm just like, bro, this ain't it. I yeah. fell off. I poof, fell off yeah. and just let it go. Hit you hard. Hit me hard, bro. Cause I wasn't ready for it. Never felt no type of pain before, so it really hit me. Damn, you was high, fifteen years old. I can't imagine having that much attention when I was that young. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, cause I wouldn't know what the fuck to do either. So what you been doing since then? Like you just been, you back on it, right? Man, when you I tell level. you, when I tell you, I'm we. Your head feeling good? I'm sh man. All this stuff made a man of me. I'm man. Man, you, you just dropped that EP, boy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's I listen to that bitch on the way here. Man. That bitch is hot, bro. No, I, play right. play that. What was that for a song called? The games. That first one. We playing that bitch right now. Right now. Girl, you bad in it. You the type to really throw it back, eh? Hey, oh you bad in it? Got the gang going up, yeah, they poppin' Yeah, they said, no way, where you really been? I been posted in the trenches, all it with my kid Ay, Yeah, I'm going up in uh, Baby, yeah, you know you and your Birkin When we hit a left, right, you be on it You gon' talk up on my name, what you, what you do? Girl, yeah, you bad, I'm a Bible and see August Yeah, they know I'm bad, yeah, they know I'm with some shotters How you wanna, yeah, you can get it, but it's a problem Pullin' with some killers, yeah, I'm rockin' with her Use a dead, use a dead man, yeah We go red, we go red, we go real red, yeah You ain't it, you ain't it, you ain't really it, yeah We gon' get you, we gon' get you, we gon' rip it, yeah Whoa, whoa, whoa again Life. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh yeah, whoa Yeah, I got a couple problems, we gon' get ya I be boiling with some demons, yeah, they real red How you hate on my name, we gon' sit yeah, I be bullin' with some demons, they be real red I be really with them killers, yeah, them demons When I see them, yeah, I flex like I'm heat, man Yeah, I see a lot of ops, they me ski, man Yeah, my man's really with it, ain't no pretend Yeah, we jump up in that water, ain't no sinking ay, ay, Do a nosedive, uh, off the deep end You ain't really with the beef, you be vegan What you trippin' on, what do you be thinking? What you sippin' on, baby, what you drinking? Uh, I be sippin' on that mud, talking real red I'll leave you real stinking, talking real dead. 
I'm a blessing, I'ma really get you gifted Your boyfriend, 5'5", five, five, he got little legs Gotta leave, girl moist, just a little way Yeah, the beat ain't even living cause I killed it Yeah, I'm new wave, nice, nah, yeah, that big drip That bitch fire that, that is, bro, like, the inspiration for that song came from literally, bro I was, uh, like, the song that made, like that I felt like, okay, I'm back but I'm back better than ever. Like the song I, I came out with was Murder. Mm -hmm. And I just sent, I sent it uh, to TC, Tosh Chapman. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate him because he came in clutch. And then from there, it just went everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. And then it just went everywhere. And when I sent it to him, it went everywhere. And it went crazy on Snapchat. Everybody had it. Mm -hmm. Drop that. Drop Murder. I'm back on. Once I get back on, I drop, I drop Go Home. Back on. I'm dropping straight bangers. Right after I dropped in two songs, Next week, I dropped the EP because I'm coming hard. And yeah. man, it's just been crazy ever since then because of more exposure. Like, I haven't been going to my studio. I've been going downtown Ipsy, and they just giving me more exposure. It's like, usually they tell me, they always ask me, do you want to do a private session? Do you want to do a private session? And I say, no, let anybody come in here, and I promise you they're going to feel it. And that's what I do every time. That sounds fun as hell. Man, it's crazy. You come to one of those studio sessions you one day, bro. You got to, bro. Cause you that shit sounds fun as hell. It's crazy, bro. Because... No, every just you know me coming from Ipsy, they they people think I'm not a real rapper. They think I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. But you if you if you really come to the session, you really see how I live, bro. It's crazy, and I'm not just saying you should that. Be like, dropping music on YouTube. No, dropping on YouTube because honestly, it's so much more than I want to do than rapping. When well, I'm gonna start vlogging, when school start back up, I'm gonna mm -hmm. start vlogging. I'm gonna I'm gonna just so much stuff I want to do. That's how I feel. I want like a platform, like yeah. a really like where I can really just speak to people if I wanted to speak to them directly. Right. But also through like another thing like music, when you speak to them in an indirect way, but like they feel it like a different type of way. That's what's up. Okay, so how long? Wait, is you fifteen? How old are you now? Seventeen. Seventeen now. It's been two years. What would you say like your best project is, bro? You know I'm gonna tell you this now. I feel like my best project not even now. When I every time I make a song now, I give it my all. Like I told you, like. It's all, it's all like, like if I make like a, like a melodic sound, I'm going to give you that, that vibe. I'm going to make you, I, anything I make, I'm going to make you feel it. If like, if I put that pain into it, you're going to feel that. Like, you're going to feel like anything I make, you're going to really, I'm going to make sure you feel it. And that's what's like, I feel like what's different for me. Like coming from Ipsy, a young and me, yeah. me being myself, bro, I'm so humble because I came, literally, I never, I never always lived in the birds, bro. Right. I live with my grandma on the South side, bro. Yeah. I lived in places like the kids where we stay would well, hate to live, bro. So me coming from and my mom gave me and moving us to the birds, bro. Like I really appreciate her. And like when I wake up, yeah. bro, like and it was mommy working hard. Yes, bro, working That's hard. That's how I feel about my mom. Like and when I think about that, bro, it make me go harder, bro. Cause my mom working to this day, working at the plant, bro. Mm -hmm. Every day she get home at three in the morning. I wake up. Talk to her for a little bit, then I work two to ten, two to ten. And while I'm working, bro, I be so tired, bro. I'm like, I just be like, man, this is this job is not for me, but it's all yeah. about patience. Yeah. And that's what I keep patience telling myself. And consistency. It's patience. You know, as you have to have patience, and I tell myself that every day before, like when I when I feel like quitting, and I get tired, it's all about patience because then once I do it, mm -hmm. I'm succeeding more and more. From my last year, I made music and I fell off because I didn't know what to do with the attention. And I, and I lost everything. Like, I lost right. everything. Like, that people changed again. on me. People changed on me that I thought would never change on me, that I really thought I had my back. But they changed on me. And I, and I, and I, and I to this day, I never let, I can forgive them, but I can't hang around them. I can't look at them the same. Of course. And it's just like. That's good to forgive. Me. Yeah. But you can't ever forget. Yeah, definitely. Can't. Said that. Tupac said that shit, didn't he? I swear. That's just facts. That's really how it, it is. It really is, bro. And I'm real. I keep it real, like. People ask me, like, when some some cats in my grade ask me, like, why won't you make a song with me? Why won't you? It's not the fact that, mm -hmm. you know, it's, mm -hmm. and they get offended when I say, I'm going to keep it real to them. I'm not going to be like, yeah, we can make a song and not make a song. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to tell you this. I can't. The reason why I can't make a song with you is I put the work in. I put the time in. You just want a handout for me because you see the attention I have, but it's way deeper than what you think it is. Right. Because you're doing it every day. I do it every day. Four hours, five hours, six hours a like, day. Literally, it's days I'm in school. Do, like, literally, just with my junior year, I'm I'm doing work. I finish my work. What am I doing? Headphones in, writing songs on my phone. 
You can anybody. They know me. They know how I'm at work. I'm on break. I'm writing songs on my phone. That's just me, bro. I'm, I'm, a, I'm I always just gotta keep it real when I'm like, I can't make a song with you because you just, you just want the attention. Right. You want a handout from a, oh, you're a rapper. Or you do this. You do that. You have all the flashy things, bro. I the reason why I have all this stuff because I work towards it, bro. You can literally what people don't know is, bro. My like my. my my peers, like my class, twenty twenty, bro. Yeah. They're scared to do things that can get them money. They're scared right. of being judged. So I make music, bro. His music lame. He nothing gonna be nothing. He's nothing. He's nothing, bro. Like. But you oh, work hard. Yeah. So you gonna get it. So all the, but all they see is he just wanna be one of them, wanna be one of them, and then the people that actually listen to my music, they tell them, oh, bro, you dick sucking, you. Oh my God, you don't wanna like my own friends. I send them my music. Mm-hmm. Leave me all open. I see how really was really? just to show love. You don't even post it on your story. So then, the more exposure I got, the more work I put in, then they want to post it. Oh, nah, send me this. Without me even texting them, they text me, hey, yo, nah, send me that video. I post on my story. I leave them on deliver. I'm wrong. I'm wrong for leaving you on deliver. I'm wrong because you did me wrong and you think I'm changing? No, nah, bro, real recognize, real. Exactly. And I be trying to tell them, like, that's just how it is. Exactly. And every time I listen to your music, I just be like, because, like, I don't really be on my phone like that. Right. But every time I listen to it, I just be like, this thing is really on or something. I don't, I don't know where you get the sound. Yeah. But it's just like, it hit me. I'm like, whoa, this thing is so different. It's so different, bro. And that's why I hit you up for this podcast, because, like, you just, like, you think different than... A lot of kids. My a age, lot of kids bro. your age, bro. And that's from, I'm going to tell you what that's from, bro. That's from pain, bro. Like, you yeah. feeling, like. Feeling real shit. Like, when I was little, bro, and I seen, like, people, like, pass, I didn't understand it because I really didn't know these people. I'm young, you know, yeah. seeing my mom cry and stuff, like, I'm just like, okay, like, mom, are you okay? But, like, seeing, like, somebody close to me gone, bro, like. I lost, I lost, like, we lost Chris, bro. Then I lost, I lost my, sad. then I lost my cousin, bro. I lost my cousin, Marquise. So then, and he, he was only 16. Yeah. And, like, you know, I remember hanging out, and where you picked, where you remember you brought hoverboards with me, bro? Yeah, I remember that. So, look, that's, bro, like, that's, like, in middle school, that's where I grew up, really. And, like, yeah. we would just be outside hooping. And I remember uh, my grandpa, he always make us lemonade, bro, like, just fresh lemonade, bro. And we would just sit on the porch and drink. And I like when I go over there, I just always that that replay always in my head. Yeah, I miss him, bro. I really do miss him, bro. And I just I always I always think about like I really got a I really got a talent, and I'm not gonna let yeah. this go away because every second you count them, bro. Right, they literally you don't do. That. A lot of people don't. They, they, just, they don't. They think it's you don't do no drugs or nothing, do you? Nothing at all. That's why the good shit, bro. Like it's a lot of people bro. fall under that like stigma where you just gotta do that. Out of high school, in high school, and yeah. in college, but everybody you really don't. Like everybody, but honestly, bro, what if I want something, bro? Like, let's say I want some shoes, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make sure I get them shoes. If I want a session, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I get that session. I'm gonna get them sneakers, just like, nigga. Just like kids, they just they play the game, they play Fortnite on that stuff. They ask me why I don't play games, bro. I have a PlayStation. Me I too. Have, My I shit have, collecting yeah. dust right now. All that I have that, Does. but I don't have time for none of that. I might, exactly. I might, I work two to ten, get home, get in the shower, talk to my girl. I might turn on a movie, but I, I, I got to work back in the morning. Yeah. So it was like, I got, I'm chasing, I'm chasing this money, and I'm, People I'm only seventeen, and I'm a minor, and I'm making minimum wage. So, I'm, I'm getting eight hour shifts. I'm getting as much as possible. I'm yeah. trying to get the most cut as possible as I can, and what I'm doing, I'm getting sessions. I'm getting sessions. And I'm getting so much exposure. Right. And they saying, they saying, when they see me with all this stuff, like, I'm about to have my own car that I paid for. That didn't ask for nobody. Right. That's And, like, me being a 17-year-old, a lot of a lot of my kids my age don't do nothing but sit at home. They don't like to work. And, and they literally, I know some from some of my mm-hmm. friends that don't like to work. That's why me and my friend Chris right. are so close like these because he literally the only friend I got to me, in my opinion, because, or, like, my friends at work. So like with him, he on the same thing I'm on. He trying to chase that money. If you're not chasing that money, I can't be around. Or you're not doing nothing positive. This summer, I worked two jobs. So it was like I worked seven days a week, mm-hmm. eight hours a day, came home, wrote songs. Then I would record podcasts once a week. Then I would work out every day 
because I wanted I wanted to be built. So I worked out every day. Right. I made I made sure I ate right all summer, and then like just like it was recent, like past two weeks, I quit that other job. Cause I I didn't like the job. Right. But I had patience. I wanted to get I wanted to get that money going. I have like I have money saved up on the side, where I want to just move away. Right. I, I don't want to stay in the city forever. I love the city. Trust me, I love the city to death because I've been here all my fucking life. But I don't want to live in a bubble where this where everything eight. happens exactly the same every day. I want to be able to travel, go places, see new things, like yeah. just discover new people. Like I'm gonna move to LA by 2021. Right. And the way you're talking about it is like that's smart to be like that patient. You mm-hmm. you're doing a great thing, bro. Cause like you really gotta like understand. Cause I was like delivering pizzas, bro. I hated that job. Right. Every fucking day, bro. I get in the car, and the coworkers. I didn't like them. Right. And it's just like you gotta do what you gotta do. Patience, exactly. That's what's up, man. Work hard, play hard, nigga. You know it, bro. I just be grinding for my spot, bro. Cause I I really feel like my mom. Like my mom told me all the time, like. Like, it's just, like, my mom, bro, like, she get to me, bro. Like, more than anybody could ever get to me. Like, and they can say whatever. Right. It ain't gonna get to me. But when it come from my mom, bro, like, I just really want to do it for her, like, honestly. Because, mm-hmm. like, she believe in me. She here, like, I literally, she tell me to do the dishes. All right. She'll she be listening to music, like, usually before she go to work. She'll turn it down just to hear me sing. And she just listen the whole time while I'm singing, bro, like. And then she just be like do that again that was so cold or she just like embrace me and then like I go to the studio and I record that and I get all these views it's like she see she knows what type of sound I have yeah so she, she knows tell, you yeah so she came me, from her right like, of course <laughs> so like when she hear like did my like my generation sound and like how I sound like she'll be like like she'd be on the radio like she'd be in the car listening to the radio she'd be like this song is horrible you're way better than him she was yeah. like you just live here and you gotta get up out of here, Nas. Nah. And she just tells me all the time, like, yeah. you gotta, you gotta get it for yourself, though. Like, mm-hmm. I know I can do it. Just it's you gotta just, work to get out of this bubble. Definitely, bro. it's so hard. It's harder than people imagine. Just to be able to like, like I'm trying to save up at least ten, twenty thousand dollars on the side, right? Just to live decently outside of the city, right. like just to be able to like live for like a little bit, get by. Just to get by. I'll just to it. get by for a little bit. And then, like, it'll be worth it once once you get past them hard, like, them hard times. It's just going to, everything will be worth it, bro. Definitely, bro. I definitely feel what you're saying, bro. You believe in that shit. I really do. You be dreaming a dream. Man. <laughs> like, just the, like, the little, like, the stuff I have now. Like, thinking when I was, like, my freshman year, like, damn, like, all this stuff I have. But it came from me working hard, so. Exactly. When somebody, like, asked me, like, bro, like, can you, like, what did you, like, how are you getting this stuff? I'm like, bro, I'm just working for everything, bro, because they asked me how I get this exposure. I'm working for everything. Everything does not come straight to you. We ain't got it like that from, bro. Exactly. We definitely ain't got it like that. Yeah, and I used to be real distracted in high school, bro, with my girlfriend. I didn't, I was going through it with her, and then I was playing games all the time. I was smoking weed. I was just... I was really distracted. I wasn't like how I am now. And what snapped out of me is like once high school was over, like I broke up with my girlfriend. I was just by myself for a while. I started working on myself. I just started like rewiring my head. And when I started rewiring my head is what I mean like I started treating myself different. Right. Like I looked in the mirror and I was like, okay. Like I have I have all this time but it's going by too quick. Right. So you gotta put some something into your time where it's gonna be worth it in the end. That's definitely right, bro. I'm trying to make like a stamp before I leave. Yeah, I feel that. So how? Damn, nigga, that EP is cold, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That when I when I knew when I was when I was doing the one song games that with that vibe I had on it. Yeah. With that grassy voice, cause I know you. Oh, I know you. Was funny. <laughs> that flow was so hot, nigga. <laughs> Man, that job uh, was crazy, bro. Like, just when I, when I write a song, bro, like, let me look. So how do you be picking these songs when you make all these songs? I'm about to, I'm about to do it for you. I'm about to pull it up for you. You like, about to do it? We're going to do a freestyle in a minute, nigga. 
for sure. I just gotta show you like probably like twenty. <laughs> like uh then like how I like make a song, like just how I write, bro. I know what the people want to hear, bro. Like so, mm. like when I hear like something, I had me actually I made a song called NASCAR. Like you go like, I was I was washing dishes like always. My right. mom that's just something she liked me to do before yeah. I leave the house before I go to work. And I heard this beat, bro. It was like so hard. So and the first thing that came in my head was just like NASCAR. I'm like, bro, why is NASCAR coming in my head? <laughs> and it was like. She listening, she turned the music down, she listening, and it's, I just, I was just like, I heard the beat drop. I was like, NASCAR, NASCAR, I like fast cars. And I'm like, hold up. <laughs> I ain't go cap, because my, just my, like, my hooks, I'm just like, what, what can I do with that? Like, why am I talking about NASCAR? Like, but I like fast cars. I'm like, that's a fast car, you know, like, that's good. So I was like, this is what I did. I'm like. Who wants to listen to this? I'm just like, bro, no one's going to listen to this. Like, I'm like, but I'm telling you. You're that day, look, the day I finished that song, it's, it was like this. NASCAR, NASCAR, I like fast cars. I can hard for the fame. Then we got to pull cars and bust down, bust down, bust down. Now she's screaming out new wave because I'm a pop star and all these baddies. Yeah, they really start to notice the gang, they demons. They like putting plays in motion now when you see me. But all these lanes want to be me now when they see me. Now they really get to speaking. And I just get to put my vibe on it. Speaking. Yeah, that they, singing shit is so And like, that's what they like on it, bro. Yeah, that's like... It's just different, man. It's different how I how I put it together because it's just crazy, bro. Like, you know, I put you hip to my sauce. Yeah, yeah. I, told I can't. You. I can't tell nobody that. And you know, I you <laughs> Ain't know. Ain't nobody get hip to that. <laughs> like just how I like singing wise, bro. Like growing up with my mom, I watch her cook all the time, and she'd be listening to Anthony Hamilton. She always listen to like Major Blige and stuff like that. So I'll always be singing, bro. Like that taught me how to sing, like. Like my um my melodies, my favorite melody, like my favorite run is like oh 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 yeah. I like stuff like I like I like to like keep like a long run, so like I could be rapping mm -hmm. like you was not humble, get hit with the thirty, you know you can't hit with the gang. I body a single, you're growing and because you know that I'm saying the trend. Like, thirty get lit up like that. If you wanted to talk about lane, like I do that, and then like out of nowhere you just hear like this amazing singing part. Like bro, what is you doing? Yeah, you just switch it up like out of nowhere. Yeah, I just like I'm very like different bro like when it comes to, like, I can rap this way I can rap that way I can rap that way I can be a rock star I can I can do it all bro and that's what a type of talent you don't get from if you like you don't really hear that from coming from artists like you just hear that Detroit style you know or you hear that you hear that like I'm tired I'm, I'm gonna be honest I, with you dog I, hear I am tired of Detroit music bro man I ain't gonna that's tell you like, they play out here man that's what I, I like it but like but I like I try to listen to a very like wide variety of music because right. that's that's what builds sound is when you listen like I, I listen to rock music and then I listen to some fucking jazz but now I'll, I'll kick it with some rap but like right. like I always try to like mix it up and I'm just tired like everybody plays it everybody yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah, they really do like I just they're like I don't know I just feel like bro like that type of music bro I feel like that can never make me up like you blow up. Yeah, like I might make, it's not you. I might make a couple of them, but, bro, I can't. I can't apply all pressure to this. That no, yeah. I I, I want to like with the EP. I made it very versatile with singing, rapping, hard, like just something that you will feel. And like with my next EP, I'm dropping. I don't even know what I'm call it, but I know I, I'm gonna do more singing on it because I really want. I want. I want like feel. I want the feeling. Right. And like just that feeling, you know, like. That feeling when you when you do something great, bro, and you just get that feeling like you like, man, I really did this. Like, like when I make when I do something, I accomplish something, bro, and I just mm -hmm. sit back like, do they it was like, just saying I couldn't do it, like stuff yeah, like that. Do it feel like you have like a bunch of frustration making it, and then like just lift up. It's like when it's over, bro. It's not even. It's like a breakdown, bro. It made me upset, bro. It's like a, it's like a. Like, I get the like it's like a it's not gonna say depressed but it's like it's like a yeah it's like a frustration yeah, yeah it's like, like a frustration it, that's what it feel like to me cause like I get so frustrated like I want this to happen this time then I put it together and then when I finally hear that final product or I see that final product it's just like damn I it's did so that. satisfying I did yeah. another one like when I get my music like when I record boom 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 yeah. and they see like my like my uh my engineer Drew bro yeah. 
he thinks I'm dope, bro. When I go to the studio, bro, I don't play no games about my sessions. When I go to the studio, there's no, like, people go in the studio, they don't finish no songs. They just, like, put one part and come back. Fuck that. No. When I go to, when I go to Drew, when I go to my peoples, they know I'm not about to play no games. When I come in here, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm all about business. Working. So when I go in there, they know they already know what I'm on. There's no breaks. There's no nothing. No phones. Literally. No, no, none of that They shit. know when I come in there with that popcorn and that lemonade, it's bad because I go straight to work. That's all I need, bro. Popcorn and lemonade. Man, that's, that's bro, what I, I love. I love snacking bro. while I do shit. Man, it's they be making like, feel like, if, if you like appreciating your own work. Definitely. Because like you're treating yourself as you like go go with it. All right, bro. You trying to do a freestyle, bro? Oh yeah, I need it. I need it. I need it. You can play any random beat I'm on. Any random beat. Focus, and I got a couple plays in motion. Why you talking about my name now? Yeah, she want me for the fame now. Yeah, they popping for the clout now. To the lane, it's piped out. You be talking all that rachi. You ain't really talking about nothing. If we really put a 4 5, yeah, really, really get the pop some. I ain't playing, I be on it. My mama, she know that I'm on it. My daddy, you know that I'm on it. Yo, granny, she know that I'm on it. Got ice on my neck and they love it. They talk on my name, I be love it. They make cause they know that I rub it. She rub on the way, yeah, she love it. Got ice on my neck, can't touch me. They mad cause my bro got a glitch. He got four five, you know he ain't missing. It ain't mad cause they know pay attention. It ain't mad cause they know that I'm whipping. I got ice on my neck, new freezer. It ain't mad cause they know that I beat her. Beat her back, her name was Keisha. I can't even delete her, delete her. Baby, yeah, you know I'm gon' leave ya. Guys, I'm on with my neck like this, yeah. yeah. You mad cause you know we gon' fever. I'm too hot, think I got me a fever. It ain't mad cause they know I'm legit. Uh, Poppin' that shit, I'm the shit. <laughs> Poppin' that shit, I'm the shit. Huh. Ice on my neck, can't miss. <laughs> yeah, she gon' hit lit. <laughs> bro, got brick, got brick. I said, no, don't sit. <laughs> she gon' talk on me. <laughs> Sip that be on me. <laughs> yeah, they mad, I'm on. Ice on neck, they know I'm on. Yeah. Dizzy, dizzy, New way. Dizzy, 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 dizzy. Look at me, who it is. Bitch, I gon' win way too ski. Oh shit, now ski, ski, ski. On my watch, go tick, tick, tick. Oh man, I'ma pull up on a bitch like a pull up on a wrist. I'm playing with a flick, I ain't playing with a bitch. I'm playing with a tick like niggas gon' do it like I'm playing with my shit. Hey, y'all niggas gon' ball, call. Hey, gon' do it like a shot, call. Hey, but they know when I fall. No, hell no, nah, niggas, I don't fall, bruh. Oh, y'all, y'all niggas don't know me. I ain't playing with a niggas like a phobie. Hey, y'all, I'ma throw that shit frisbees. Everybody gon' get like, get me. I ha. Dimes, donuts in my motherfucking bag, bitch. I do this like all niggas zig, bitch. I zag, bitch. Oh man, oh man, I'm a cold killer. Bow nigga, rock and fall with them diamonds, silver. Diamonds, pressure, roll on, killer. Aba, know me, poppin', kettle, butter. Hell no, popped on, popcorn, bitch, y'all. Like all up, like all up, like all up. Hell no, niggas don't understand how I do it. I'm the fucking man. I'm playing like a light skin nigga with a tan. I'm dark skin like a dark skin nigga with a fan. Fuck y'all, my biggest fan is in my room. I ain't playing that. Goddamn, I don't give a damn. Fuck you, I ain't give a Sam. Me and Nas gon' kill it, nigga. Cause I told y'all, I'ma get it, nigga. But I'm in the cup and I spilled it, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you tight. I believe in you too, bro. I really appreciate that coming from you because, you know, I see you work, bro. I see you doing your thing on the podcast, bro. Yeah. You know, and I seen your podcast and I heard it. I feel, I think it was the um, one where this guy, he would go places for clothes. What's that oh, one yeah. called? Bryce Kentner. Uh, oh, I seen that one. Hustling, hustling as a starting your own that was, clothing business. That was dope. Yeah, like, bro, that's crazy because, like, some people, I just know, I noticed people in the city, especially, like, like, he, he came from out of college. Right. He drove all the way out here just to do that podcast, like an hour away. That's dope. But I, I noticed people in the city, like, they just different. Like, you different. It's just certain people, they don't apply to everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, they apply to themselves. I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, they optimistic. Yeah. yeah. Like, one thing, bro, that makes me, like, happy, bro. Like, because I don't cuss in my music. So, like, I you mean, don't. I'm yeah, I don't. Like, when I rap, my yeah. mom always told yeah, me, like, mom, don't rap. Yeah. But, like. I don't know. The more like when I hear some fire stuff, I'm like, ooh, that'd be colored if I put a color, like a little yeah. color. Cause like that that F word, bro. Man, it's like fuck. Like, man. It's just, like it just be punching. 
But it's like when you they were like, but then when they actually hear like when I let you when I let you hear games and I was ripping on it, bro. Mm -hmm. It was so hard that you didn't even know like you wouldn't even be able to think like you would think it's cussing in it. Yeah, but you're not, and I'm not even doing it. I'm just. But that's what makes really good music is when people catch like you make it really catchy. Yeah, and then like people replay it. And then they hear the lyrics. Right. Because they listen to it the first couple times, they don't hear shit. Or then the lyrics hit then they sing along and shit. Yeah. That's what makes, like, people really connect to your music. That's true. That is really true. But, like, so cuss words really don't even matter. Yeah. It's just, like, a lot of emphasis when you say a cuss word. Yeah. That's why I like to... I, 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 have, a, I have a potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fuck it. Because, like, when I cuss, it's like, I try to bring light to like what I'm saying right that's that's all it is like, I, don't, I don't see a problem with cussing you only 17 you know right it's just like I don't know like my mom said you can do it when you get older she's like just on your music wise I don't want to hear it right now but she see like she been asking me like you playing on cussing anytime just like she want me to like yeah. sometimes she be like she, I don't think she care no more but that's just when I started you know yeah but like she see me like maturing like and it's crazy because a lot of people, I used to be like a class clown, bro. That kid that was just silly, bro. Me too. Bro. Like just a dancer, bro. And like, I don't even dance no more, bro. Like, all right, that stuff is not, it don't amaze me no more, bro. Like, I just did that for attention. But like, bro, like, now, bro, like me, as like me now, bro, I'm a whole different person. And that's what a lot of people fail to realize is that, bro, like, I'm not no little kid. This ain't freshman year. Y'all don't know me no more, bro. Exactly. Like, I gotta understand, like when they see me now, they say I'm fake. I'm not acting fake. This is this is the real me. I'm giving you the humble side of me. Like this is yeah. all I know now. Like I was I was I was not mature at all. Like yeah. I be trying to tell them like when they see me like quiet in class and just on my phone and just in my zone. I just be in my zone. That's basically right. what it is. Like stay in your own lane. And like I tell my mama, I tell my mom every day like. Just that, just that opportunity, like, on some real deep stuff, bro. Like, because I love my mom so much. Like, I just be like, just that opportunity, me being your son, it means so much to me. And I tell her that so much because she made me who I am today. And I would never, I would never take nothing from her. And I, will, and I always appreciate her. And that's when I tell her, like, when I make it, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Because she made sure I was having sessions. She made when I when I when I didn't even have a job, bro, and I just yeah. really and I do it all for her and I do it for me. That's one big thing. She told me have don't do it for anybody else. Yeah, do, do it, everything for you. Right, and yeah. ever since, bro, I've been back up and rolling, bringing bangers after bangers, bro. Like, now when they see me, they act like they know me, but they don't know me. They, they don't just know the Nas. Me, they they know Nas Zier. Man, but they, they don't, don't know, know that new way. They don't know that new way. <laughs> Yeah, how you come up with that name, by the way? I had a New dream. I had a dream, bro. Dreams be crazy, don't they? I swear to God, everybody was thinking, about oh, it's food place about chicken. No, it's not about chicken. <laughs> tell you what it's about. That new wave, it's actually, it's not, they, it's not in you, you know? It's yeah. new wave, you know, like, I had a dream, bro. I was on this, I was on this beach, bro, and these waves in the water was so beautiful, bro. Yeah. And I'm just on this beach, and the sun coming up, bro, and it's just me. And it looked so beautiful, bro. And then I woke up. I'm like, them waves, bro. I woke up and I said, them waves. It was That's one of the really vivid dreams. Yes, bro. And I woke up, bro. I wanted to go back in the dream. And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was about six. I woke up at 6.45 and I had to go into school. So I got a shower. And that next day, my stepdad was like, when you want to make a song? When I got home, me and my mom and I went to the store. I was like, new way, nah, it's out of nowhere. And I wrote it in my phone. And then I forgot about it. Then I came back to it. Like, that's my rap name. New way, nah. That's, that's a good name. name. That, is it like any abbreviations or anything? Is that's it always just, new way? Capital N W, nigga. It's just when people see me now, they respect me to call me new way. Because yeah, they, see, they see how humble I am, the respect, and the, what I'm, the grind. And they see, they, like, they may see the, like, I like, bro. I buy shoes out the butt low, boat low, bro. Oh, shoes. That's that's one thing I like when I, when Sneaker. I yeah when I get some money, it's to like clothes. Like I like my style, you know, like yeah. But shoes, that's just one thing I like. Like, how many shoes are you buying, nigga? Uh, well, <laughs> what's your favorite pair? Let me start with that. Um, shoes, 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 shoes. My well, I don't really, 
I never really, well, I, I had a lot of Jordans, but I stopped wearing Jordans that because is. everybody got them, you know? Everybody got Jordans, yeah. So I wear a lot of Pumas, Air Force Ones, like Air Force Air Ones. Air Force Ones are my favorite shoe, dog. Yeah. I got like eight pairs out there. I got some dope ones, bro. <laughs> I got some dope ones. I like, I like these Pumas. They so cold. These are the ones I, I wore. I'm going to show you them, them dope. Hey, if you could describe yourself as a color, what color would you be, bro? Yeah, I have to be orange, bro. You'll be orange. I'll be yellow. Bright, bro. I really want to be bright, motherfucker. <laughs> Man, definitely. I feel it. Yeah, it's just like, I was writing about, like, do you do you write a lot? Not like but lyrics, I, but like, just write. No, I just, music-wise, yeah, I write a lot, but not, yeah. not really. But I'm my like, teachers, you know what's crazy? What? My teachers, bro, they, like, when we got to write an essay or something, mm-hmm. but I'm so quick with it, and they, this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm, I'm so just, used to writing. You good, you good at it, bro. Keep doing it. Yeah, definitely. I write three pages of subconscious uh, writings every day. Every day I'll like, I first I meditate and then for like 15, 20 minutes. Then I'll go upstairs and then I like sit in like a, like by a window or something. I'll just write whatever come to mind, just write. And it kind of like organizes my thoughts for like the rest of the day right. where I could just think about what's going on in my life in this moment. Like what am I? What's my next? Like what? How what's you be thinking? Yeah, what's my next move? Yeah. yeah. What's your? What's my next move? How you be thinking? Right. And like that really helped me because I was just like that in high school. Like I'll just be sometimes I'll be quiet. Right. And I'll just be like, like zoning. And then I started meditating when I turned eighteen, and that's when I really started like becoming like like this. Right. Like, like a person that's like always moving and shit. Like. Right. Yeah. Um, give it a shot, bro. It might help, bro. Right. Um, I see a lot of myself in you. That's why I like you, dog. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like one of the things, bro. I feel like the coldest thing like I ever made that I make you think about it, like writing wise, bro. Yeah. I said, I wish that I could just erase it. Mm-hmm. Time goes by, but there's no waiting. Damn. And I was just, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I wish that I could like, Damn. like all the things that I, I did wrong or like all the pain I felt. I wish I could just erase it. But when I'm trying to erase it time goes by and there's no waiting at all so right. i was like what can i do exactly bro a moment a moment goes by faster i mean it, a moment goes by so fast Man. that you can't catch it at all not one moment bro every second bro you can't catch it that's why you gotta appreciate it yeah bro it's just crazy all right man we're running out of time anything you want to spill on the mic oh i didn't spill no shit today hold up bro Drop a fact for me, bro. Before you roll out of here, man. Drop right. your socials and shit. Drop anything you want. Social new platform. way Nas. Snapchat Nas Zero One Oh One. You're but fact. Man, me and my boy gonna get up out of here. And that's facts. That's for sure, for sure. Some real spill right there. Can I do it? You wanna do it with me? You know you know the phrase? What is it? He spilled that shit. <laughs> so we just say it at the same time? Yeah, loud as shit though. Alright, you ready? One on three. One, One, two, two three. three. He spilled that shit all over the mic, nigga. <laughs> oh, damn, bro.